Hi, so I'm Connor, I'm a grade 11 student at Centenary Heights. Uh, and I'm Logger, and I'm a year 11 international student at Centenary Heights. So really, talking about Centenary Heights, it's just a marvellous place. I couldn't complain, great facilities, great sports, got a wonderful library behind us, really good cultural diversity, as you can see with the international program, so. Yeah, we got, it's unbelievable, <laughs> the amount of sports, sports facilities we have at this school we got. How many ovals? We've got one. A lot of, lot of grounds. We've got at least three inside of walking distance, so it's amazing. Yeah, uh, I think you could also just go around to all the groups in the school and you could see every day the wide range of people that hang out together and it sort of really showcases that cultural diversity that we strive for here. It's a very cross-cultural place and there is obviously a lot of international students, but there's also other students that come from different backgrounds, which are now Australians. So it's great to see the cultural diversity in such a place as Toowoomba. Yeah, not to mention the marvellous teachers that we have here. Yeah, and they're always there to help you if you ask, so. Yeah, but overall, I just, I don't think you could say one bad word about Centenary Heights, could you? It's, overall, it's just a magnificent place to come every day, so. But I'm just so glad I have came to this school for three years. For three years? Three years. Yeah. That's yeah. oh, awesome. So, Eva, when you leave school, what are your plans? What are you thinking of doing? Well, I'm going to Bond University to do law and business, and I got a scholarship. Yay! So it's amazing you came here for high school. So how do you end up with uh, St. Canary High School? I have chosen this school because this school is so academic and had a long experience with international students. In the last year, an international student called Cassie, do you, do you know her? You guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was dark and she was open as well. Yeah, and that was really Amazing. cool. Yeah, and in 2012, we had 11 OP1s. How amazing is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so good. Hi, Hello, Miss Paul. Ladies, lovely to see you. As, all, as always, can I introduce you to uh, our, one of our Year 12 graduates from a few years ago, Faria Alam. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, hello, I'm Sharon. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Sharon. Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm from Korea. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hello, I'm Yvonne. come from Taiwan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yvonne. Nice to meet you all. Girls, I'd love you just to listen for a quick minute and let Faria tell you about her time at Centenary Heights and then what she's doing now. Yeah? Sure. You guys, because so you're in about year nine, ten. Is that yeah. is that yeah. right? Yeah. Well, I started at Centenary in 2006 in year mm -hmm. nine, and I subsequently graduated from Centenary in 2012 um, from year 12. And in the in the four years there, it was I had an absolutely great time here at the school, as I'm sure I can vouch that you are as well. Um, so far, and then I went on to um, in 2010. I started medicine at Monash in Melbourne, and. Um, I've graduated this year, um, completing a five-year course, so I'm ready to start work as a doctor at the Princess Alexandra Hospital in Brisbane next year. One of the things, Ms. Walsh, I think you, I still read about in the papers you mentioning the lifelong learning that centenary graduates mm -hmm. are very well known for, and I must say I'm very thankful for, to the school for building that in me um, from when I was about, what, 13 when mm -hmm. I started at school? Mm -hmm. so, I think that's, as a doctor, that's one of the skills that we really need to have. And as a Monash graduate, on top of that, that's something that Monash really fosters in us, the attitude to lifelong learning. And I must say I had a head start in that, because <laughs> the folks in the school and the teachers here really value that. Hi, we got a great facility here at Imsonary Heights. So here's our library. So it's a good place to stay and come. So it's very wonderful and comfortable. Hello, I'm Anish and this is my science class. 
We're doing our assignment in the library today. Hi, I'm Nanimi and this is my Year 11 Chemistry class. Um, during the term we do a lot of work, but sometimes we get out and we do fun experiments like making ice cream. Hi, my name is Nikki and this is the Year 11 Film and TV class at Centenary Heights. Here in this subject we have access to some really great editing programs and heaps of cameras. We have lots of fun in this subject like every other subject at Centenary Heights. What light through yonder window breaks? Hey, I'm Bianca and this is my Year 10 English class. Hi and welcome to the Grade 11 Chinese class. It's not all about studying, sometimes we get to learn about culture and have some fun. Hi, my name is Dee. This is our international kitchen. We have microwaves and a refrigerator. So in the morning, we could put our food in the fridge and heat our food in the break. So we can have hot food and different food every day. It really helps us as international students. Hi, I'm Nell Madden and this is the Year 10 art class. We learn a lot of fun techniques and it's just really cool because we're all, we're all friends. Uh, hello, I'm River and this is Gabby and we are grade 11 hospitality students at Centenary High and today we're cooking risotto. Um, by finishing this course we will get a certificate 2 in hospitality and um, yeah, so this course basically opens up a, a wide range of job opportunities in our local area or wherever you are. And it's just a great jump start to the future for your job. And it's really fun to do. Hi, I'm Jacob. And here in Year 11 Physics, we learn a lot and we have some fun too. Okay, good day, I'm Harry and this is the 10 chemistry class and we have lots of fun in this class. Like today we're making variegated disaccharide J tubes which is commonly known as Kenny canes. Here at Centenary, it's not all about books and classes. We have our own extracurricular cultural activities. to influence you. It is common knowledge. But I firmly believe that this is not how it happened. <laughs> There's heaps of things you can do in your lunchtime. You can even play chess. Checkmate. questions we could just ask them and like they weren't like oh yeah what's that stupid question that's all yeah yeah it was really really good yeah. 